Thanks, Grant. It's now time for River City Beats. I'd like to welcome to the show Tammy Rogers of the Steel Drivers and their song, I Choose You. Take it away. Rogers of the Steel Drivers, a song I Choose You. Everybody, welcome to River City Live. We love having live music on the show. It just puts us in a good mood. I'm going to stand here awkwardly. Sorry to block you out. <laughs> no worries. All right, so we got a couple of familiar faces here. Uh, Sean, if you can, Sean McCarthy, can you introduce us to everyone here? This well, room? this guy that's always sitting down over here with me, uh, this is Mr. Hotshot Carter. The on one Table and only Steel. Hotshot. Woo! Hotshot Carter. Friend of the show. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Good to be here. Over here is his son, who's been with us since he was about 12 years old, been playing with our band, um, Mr. Marcus Carter. All right, welcome to the show. Thank you. And this young lady over here on that uh, fiddle, 
That's Miss Tammy King from Steel Drivers. Thank you. And her lovely husband over there on the very end, who will be playing bongos on the next song, is uh, Mr. Jeff King. <laughs> uh, well, everybody, welcome man. to the show. You guys sounded amazing. And one of the things we wanted to talk about, and I know this is something you're very passionate about, you've been working very hard, big music festival coming up. So yep. April, we have the date here, April 14th through the 16th, yep. Fernandina Beach Songwriters Festival. Yeah. So talk to us about that. Well, this is going to be our first one, and she and I and uh, Zan Maddox, who's up in Asheville, want to say hello to her. Uh, she's at Geraldine's Bakery up there. Um, I hope she's watching us. But anyway, we dreamed it up about a year, about a year, two years ago now. So we've been putting it all together, and Tammy and I came up with a list of great songwriters. Like in about 20 minutes, we had the list. So yeah. Tammy, walk us through then. What can fans of music expect from this event? Well, Songwriters Festival is a little bit different from a lot of other music types of festivals in that we really feature um, the people that wrote the music lots of times that you hear on the radio that maybe the artists that you hear on the radio didn't actually write it. So we're featuring the people that created that song. And so often they have really great stories to tell you how they came up either with the title, with the music, how they got it to the artist. So it's as much about storytelling as it is about songwriting. So it's really a unique um, situation. It'll be very casual like this. The guys will be sitting around in chairs and you know just talking about the creative process and sharing the music that they wrote. I love that side of it because that's a connection that audiences a lot of times like they don't know about. Exactly. But yet it really hits home, especially when they're fans of music. It's huge. It's it's you know it started way back when like the Bluebird. We played Bluebird in, in Nashville. That's been yeah. part of the community for a long yeah. time. This idea of a writers round where you in have round. three yeah. or four just songwriters with their guitars or maybe with a keyboard. Um, swapping songs really is what it's about and telling the stories. So we're so excited. We've got this first year, we've got Gary Baker, who a um, fabulous hit songwriter. His, his biggest song probably is I Swear, which was a massive country hit. And then it crossed over Boys to Men, recorded a huge worldwide pop hit. Um, he's also done a lot of work with the Backstreet Boys. We've got Radney Foster coming from Foster and Lloyd, and then he did his own solo work. He's had a bunch of Keith Urban cuts as a writer. Um, we've also got um, Tom Utes, who was last year's IBMA Songwriter of the Year, kind of from a different world, the Bluegrass and Americana world. We've got um, Runaway June, a trio from more commercial country coming. Um, Sean's going to be doing his thing. I'm yep. going to be doing my thing. We've got Mike Geiger, who is another local Fernandina boy. Uh, he moved up to Nashville, what, 35? Yeah, Maybe something 90. like that. A few years ago, yeah. um, and he's had tremendous success. So he's coming home um, to be part of this first festival. So we just couldn't well, be sounds more like excited. An amazing opportunity. So if you blue. guys can just hang around a little more, we'd we love will. to hear another song and even more about the festival yes. coming up. Awesome. Yes. Is that is that a deal? That's a deal. All right, stick around. More to come right after this.